Hey, Scott Himmelstein with the Scott Himmelstein Group. Welcome back to another edition of our video blog. Well, we're always constantly talking about we have such a housing crisis, and what I mean by that is a limited amount of housing available. Well, one solution for that here in the city of Los Angeles has actually been the ADU, the accessory dwelling unit. We're going to talk about those today and some of the things that you should know about if it's something that you might be interested in. So what's great about these ADUs is that they provide an easy source of rental income for the homeowner as well as an opportunity for lower rent as provided for the people who actually rent out these units. And more importantly, it provides an opportunity for the cities and the neighborhoods here in Los Angeles that you're instead of building brand new apartment buildings, that it makes it more manageable density wise. But that being said, there's a lot of things that you do have to navigate through with the city of Los Angeles and planning when it comes to these accessory dwelling units. So navigating through all the regulations for an ADU is not the easiest task, but here's some of the things that you should know about if you're actually planning on building an ADU. Now, first off, you don't actually have to have a detached structure on your property. You could add to your existing house or even use the garage. Although typically for the garage, they want to have at least a two car garage because otherwise it really doesn't make sense as far as square footage to be adding as far as that your ADU is concerned. Now, as far as how much you can actually add, the maximum is 1,200 square feet total, and you can't go more than 50% of the total of the, your actual house. So for example, if you have a 1,000 square foot house, you can't add more than 1,000 square feet, but again, 1,200 is the max. So as far as permits goes, it really comes down to you actually have to submit plans to the Department of Building and Safety. And with those plans in the very beginning, it was almost a couple hours. Now that it's becoming so much more popular with investors to be able to build these ADU units, you're looking at about two to three weeks before your plans get to actually approve. Now, something to really consider, because a lot of people think that, wow, for $20,000, I can convert my garage and that'll be it. But when you actually take a look at the cost to build these ADU units, it's almost better to actually demolish something than to actually um, build this ADU unit. And what I mean by that is the cost of construction because of the rules and regulations from the city who wants everything to be new, so it actually adds a lot of cost. So it can be quite cost prohibitive you know, depending on what you are trying to do. And so a lot of times, let's just say, for example, you have a detached garage or pool house in the backyard, a lot of times it's easier to start from scratch than it is actually to deal with the demolition cost, which is uh, quite expensive. So adding an ADU is actually going to be very expensive. It's not like $20,000 and that's going to be it. Now, what we've been finding on houses that do have ADUs, originally I thought, well, okay, well, it makes sense that a lot of families will be buying these houses, but typically they end up being bought out by investors because if an investor might be looking for a duplex or a triplex, well, here's a situation where everything's brand new in the, in the house that they're buying with the ADU. And as a result, that they're actually getting a property that's being delivered to them vacant. And uh, so the, the nice thing about that is that now they can actually rent it out to the people that they actually uh, want to do. And then the other thing to consider last and finally is rent control. So by adding this additional unit on your property, so now you're gonna be subject to the rules of rent control, especially if the property was built before 1978 here in Los Angeles. So those are just some of the things to consider. There's a lot more in complexity that goes to the ADU units. If you have any more questions about it, give me a call 818-396-3311, 818-396-3311. And thanks again for watching our video blog.